Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another start of a new series. We're going to be playing some Alan Wake 2. Definitely very excited about this, so let's get into it. Oh, for both? I gotcha, I gotcha. Normal? Oh, we'll go with normal. Use a uh, hand flare to escape the enemy's grapple unharmed. Okay. Give me that hand flare. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Oh boy. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And Let me know if it's loud enough. End up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh boy. What? Nasty. That's definitely not him. Okay. That body. That body. Can I run? I cannot. Okay. Dead bod? Yeah. Dude, the graphics look phenomenal. Can I go up there? No. No. I guess they're, oh, I guess I can go up there, maybe. The heck was that? Oh, gross. Oh, I got all turned around. Let's go towards the light. Okay, we got jump scares happening. Stop it. You didn't see anything. I know you're looking though. Ooh, yes, run. Imagine, imagine that body shaking. Eesh. Yikes. What the? Okay, that's crazy, Alan. Wait there. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. And it's raining now? A wet body? Ugh. Even worse. Yep. 
Yes, towards the. What? Oh, heck no. Heck no. I'm out. Hey, this game is... Getting intense, man. He took his heart. Oh, don't look. Don't look. Don't you look. Twitch TOS. Wait, did you find uh, a Sylvie yet? Need to get on your job. That's the job. Okay. You've been poorly. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. But People get murdery? Just yeah, the graphics right. look phenomenal. Well, dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Now, are they married or uh, I'm very confused? It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? She was going to do that anyway. Nothing that would cheer anyone up. I'm getting cold chills already from this thing. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. I wonder is this haze because it's like foggy out? Or do you guys see that kind of a haze going on? Okay, it looks all right. The deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Return one invitation. Okay. Get to the crime scene. Find the deputies. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Map uh displays key locations. Could be our deputy. I can. Okay, okay. Quit your belly aching, Thornton. I'm up here now. That's just 
now the cookie crumbles. Hey, over here. I guess this guy wants to talk to us. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Damn bitch gonna show up, Mulligan! Federal agent's right here, Thornton. He didn't my even press... Thornton. He didn't even press the mic. Scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? They aren't married? Are they with you? No. Could use a briefing. Any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Uh. Yeah. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Okay, that's a lot Everything's of... things. has been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. So it's just an open mic. All right. Do we crouch? Oh, there. Okay, just auto crouch. Get to the crime scene. Uh, meet Deputy Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. All right. You can access the case board inside the mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Okay. Worth uh, taking another look. Case board is a, a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress in the investigation. Oh, okay. Mm, let me see. Uh, you're not free to... Uh, okay. To navigate the case board. Intelligible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe, or their art. A sportsman or a hunter. Yeah, this is the one we saw before, I think. Uh, called it in like 2018, 2012. Oh, was it this guy? Okay, okay. Okay, so we're right here. We're just trying to get our bearings on where, you know, what we're doing here. Me, Deputy Thornton. Okay. I wonder, is there anything we can do in this mine place? There's a bunch of wine. Oh, so did they? I see you're already oh. hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Okay, so it doesn't pause the game. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, so did they cancel like all the Chicago shows, like Chicago Fire and Med and all that? I haven't seen it on, or even any advertisements for it or anything. So I don't know if they canceled hey, Casey, it. You putting me in charge? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. 
real funny, Anderson. Yeah. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not them. <sighs> we might have to use E for that action instead of F. Because E's the, in the flashlight, so... Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Oh, the strikes and the writers. I gotcha. Wow. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. No, he seems like a schemer. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? That guy's over it. He's over it. Just to get the crime this scene. This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You stop you it. Coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Okay. Oh, gross. Step one, examine the corpse. How do we do that? Oh boy, she's really going in there. Oh geez. Body is positioned Why? on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock the first uh, key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place, okay. Uh, so I got to see active clues. Key image can be selected and put it on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Okay. A new line of investigation. Okay. Uh, when a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question consistent with previous murders. Inside the goals, okay. What's the goal? Oh, investigate the crime scene, okay. Gross. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open, heart removed. So do we have to do this? Wait, how come we can't place these? Mm. Keep trying. Keep trying? I don't understand. Uh, maybe it's supposed to go over here? Uh, 
Major trust trauma. Oh, okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Okay, clues have resolved open question. The victim and the killers. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked. Updating the goals. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Examine the board. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? There was definitely multiple people. Oh, they were having beers. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. So does that mean Wait they... For a camera? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, so we got to do this again. For later? Lots of activity. Okay. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Hmm. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Okay, that's like normal. That's got to be it right there. Mm. How do I know where it places it at or where it's or where it's going to place it? That's what I don't get. Heavy blood splatter on the tables. I would think it would go up here. Think Saga. Oh, maybe it's down here with, <laughs> with one of these. Clearly, it's not. Uh, let me see. Maybe blood splatter on the table. It's got to be clues with this guy. Okay. Clearly, it's not working. Or maybe I do have to do that. I think I do. Might have to go in the mine place again. I don't get this one. There we go. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay. Quite the party. Why did it say for later? Oh, here we go. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. 
I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as examining. Okay. Uh, sorry, just intrigued uh, watching the whole story without it being rushed. Yeah, of course. Of course. No problem. No problem. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't. I want to understand the story, too. State. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Icons on the bottom left corner indicate critical content is available in the mind place. Okay. Casey Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Uh, victim is Robert Nightingale last seen Bright Falls 13 years ago. Think. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay. <clears throat> Premeditated or spontaneous. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Indeed. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Okay. Victim came from. She's figuring it out. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw feel what they felt use whatever i know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation piece it together okay profiling you can use profiling inside saga's mind to place mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims okay i can discover clues by profiling people of interest okay Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch, it goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Oh, okay. I can feel that uh, Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? For 13 years, okay. Check the lake shore. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Okay. this one of your hunches anderson did something happen at the lake i think nightingale came up from that direction from the lake probably looking for shelter safety they were waiting for him when you're ready i'd love to hear what you put together so far 
Sure. Boy. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. No, he's Found nude. Him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. Yeah. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy though. Yeah. That's creepy vibes. 100%. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Okay. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. That's definitely Ellen Wake. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Okay. Uh, Red and Sevis. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Okay. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Okay. I must find out what. So is that Alan Wake being weird? Okay, we already saw that. Something's at the case board. Manuscript pages. What's that? The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Ooh, we got more pictures here. Gotta go right there. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Anything else here? Okay, here we go. Makes sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. Oh man! What I can find inside. Going back to that body again. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. 
she just likes examining that body. All right, so. Um, I think we have to go back to the, uh, we need to go back to the murder site, I think. Back here. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? What's up here? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. What's going on in here? Do we get more clues? Or is this just a creepy McCreep place? Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. It's a cauldron. Okay, I guess there's nothing in there. Oh, that is very creepy though. Oof. I wonder, can she fall off of that? Ooh, some clues. Okay, this is a bunch of mishmash. That will come in a bit. What's that? Ooh, we get some gear? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Okay. Uh, can be used upgrade weapons in the mine place. Oh, we can upgrade weapons. Uh, land two hitches in quick succession. It's not an enemy. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire. Ooh, or should we do the magazine? Let's go more bullets. Oh, we can't yet. Oh, we only have one. Okay. Man, I thought we had more than one. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going back now. Mm. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? Ooh. That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not going to say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> oh, she has a daughter? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the game looks phenomenal. I don't know what people were talking about. I was a lot of, uh, looking at some reviews. They were like, uh, it's garbage. I'm like, what? Okay, so we gotta, yeah, I think we gotta go back to the murder site. 
Back to Bright Falls. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. I guess they want me to do that. Okay. Wait, can I do something here? Oh, the weapons upgrade. But I don't think I could upgrade it. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Yeah, I need 12. Okay. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thank you. Give me that key. Okay, shortcut key. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Falls, okay. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Is the shortcut down there? What's down there? I'm just curious because it looks weird. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Of course. They're not going to let us. Nice talking to you, too. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the game looks phenomenal. Welcome back, Anderson. Wow, why you say my name like that? Relax. Okay. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. You saw it? Yeah. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah, what's going on up here? Wait, what's going on over here? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Yeah, you just wait there. Ooh. A lunchbox again. Nice. Out here. Give me those fragments. Okay. Now, can I get up there? I don't think I can. We're going to check, though. No, I don't think we can. Get out of the way. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? <clears throat> to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. I'll look around, 
See you in a bit. Take your time. Okay, um the shortcut key. Wait, were we going the wrong way right there? Here we are. Oh, the Let's car. drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Okay. Are we taking this car? Oh yeah. I can't get that Cutscene. manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Okay. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. She's all set. Okay, I want to check something actually. It's called I'm kind of curious about ray tracing. Let's see what happens. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Yeah, we don't want that. I wanted to see anti-aliasing. I don't see that. I guess it'll be all right. Okay. Actually, give me one second. I will be right back. Make sure you get up, get some water, and I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. Oh man, this guy's on a hype. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that's rich. Bittersweet nectar. Get it in, coffee world. Yeah, he's on ultimate hype. Get it now. <laughs> okay, okay. She's like, raise it up. Raise it up. She's not even helping. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. Okay. I got you both some coffee. Really? Well, Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. That was the guy from Quantum Break, I think. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, Sus. you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Okay. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure, but it's slowed down ever since Calvin Light was passed off. Let me guess, missing person cases spiked around 2010. The offense was built just after. Out of order, huh? That's exactly right. Hmm. I can't believe that happened. Still still watching the police. Nick, Vaughn has the pie. Don't take your mind off things. Okay, he's a little stuttery in here. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. Look at the guy. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. <laughs> Unless What's skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives like some kind of satanic cult. This guy. Then we bolted and called the cops. Look at his eyes. It's like he's on a he's on something himself. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, "Cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree." Oh, oh. and then we found a. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. You found what? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Interesting. Let's go to the board. Why is it? Mm -mm. I wonder, did I do something that made it all weird? The cult of the tree. 
What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. Yeah, they're a little the sus. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Annie. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Hmm. I don't know about that. This mug always cheers me up. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. No. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Wow. Told you not to keep that thing, Tammy. Thanks. Cutscene. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> it's like reading it in a dream of missing here. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. Is she that? Is she that same person from the other Alan Wake? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh boy. Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, see, it's, it's a little weird. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? What did Don't I change? Nothing. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will... Nothing. Like, I changed the one... Ray tracing thing, but then I put it back, so... Yeah, everything should be like it was before. Maybe it's just like it was because it was in that, uh, you know, in that area, you know, inside of that diner. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. Because it's all right now. I played some D&D &D back in the day. And Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on those two as well. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. I feel what? like Rose was in the you know. first game. She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but best not to take it personally. Go to the morgue's examination room? Okay, we can do that. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. 
I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Be around. Okay, okay. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Yeah, I can handle it. Don't worry about it. Why are we going in here? How she just going through the files? I mean, I'll take it, but we can't just go through the files. Does that work here? No, I need like a... I don't know what kind of key I need for that. But we're going to find one. I'm going to get in that room. It's got to be something good in there. And going through all the lockers. Ooh, give me that. Okay, I see you. I see you. And what's over here? Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Oh, come on. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Jeez. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What? There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Right. They tattoo this it on there? like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Okay. Case board. Okay, where's our question at? Uh, let's see. Finding a KC movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Point of uh... Inquired... Okay. So we got more stuff going on here. Let's see. Okay. Killer profile. Oh, okay. We'd have to go to. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Okay. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Oh, great. But it's my first cult case. 
exciting. Case closed. Uh, okay, let me see. Oh, Cult of the Tree case. Okay, here we go. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. Background case accumulate cues, uh, clues about broader outgoing topics. All right. Think saga. Oh my gosh. Cold symbols. Okay. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't uh, established enough to operate openly. Of course. Why would they want to do that? Okay. All right, what else are we doing in here? Okay, so I gotta uh, examine his body again. I think we're all right. Nothing in there? What? Okay, we examined his body. There's got to be something else we got to do here. Maybe the profiling again? Hmm. We still haven't used any bullets. Is that the daughter? Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Nice. Who's this? The husband? It's gotta be. Okay, I don't think we have we can do anything in here now. It's gotta be something with this body. But is it glitched out? Hmm. Let's see, maybe something over here? No, no. They're looking at me like I'm supposed to do something else. Maybe... Hmm. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Yeah, we already heard this, I think. Inside. The awful truth. It's a wait. Dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Oh, you know what we gotta do? Um... I didn't see... Uh, let's see. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Yeah, because we didn't we didn't put those photos up. Okay, here we go. Okay, some kind of tattoo. Nope. Uh, let me see. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. 
Heart can't have been marred before removal. Uh, looks like someone's put in there. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? I feel like they took it out of there. Examine the chest cavity. Nice. Great. Ah, uh, don't look. You don't look at that, Tinks. For your young eyes. Yo, what the heck is that? Are you going to touch that with your hands? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. Hey, he's holding out on me? So that's when we're using our flashlight. I'll make you pay. Wow. He's coming. No weapon. The page is set to get into the light. Try to stay uh, in light. Okay. Okay, so my gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, it's out in the hall, so uh safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. Okay. Go. Okay, uh... What? Ain't no way. Did I die? Wow. Okay. okay. First of all, that sensitivity was way too high. I'm trying to hit him in the... I should have hit him in the legs. That way he couldn't walk, right? We gotta do that whole thing again. Can we skip this. Okay. I thought he couldn't mess around with the light.
My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now. What? Yo, he did that instant. I should have went around the, uh, the other way. Okay, I didn't know he was that fast. And I can't dodge. I need to get into the light. Now. My health. My health is already super low. He can't see me in the light. Okay, so I'm gonna go out that way next time. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Oh. Go. Got him. Vanished. Nice. End of the chapter. That's chapter one. Go ahead and decide to play it. Yeah, me too. Oh, I didn't want any uh, DMCA. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Yeah, that was crazy. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Okay. Yeah, what happened to the sheriff? Uh... Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. He knew. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Okay. Look around for clues. There's one of the pages on the floor. Give me that page. The heart is gone. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Oh man. Saga had to pursue Nightingale. Alan Wake's voice overlap. again. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Okay. Oh, is this just the music? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Nightingale attacked us. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Okay. Where did Nightingale go? B or B, okay. Right. Oh, 
Uh, cult ritual. What is it? Okay. Was the writing? Oof. Mm. Okay. So we still got more. We need more evidence, I think. Oh, let me uh, fix that sense on that aiming sense. Let's go 10 on that, too. Let's see how that works out. Is there any more clues? The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. Oh, boy. We'll do what we can, man. Okay. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. Indeed. Oh yeah, there's stuff in this office. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also bear season. Oh man. Oh no, a bear. Help. This guy's very enthusiastic. Welcome back. Adventure tours, unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best copy roaster slash tour guide by Copy World Magazine, and I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government, and that's why. At Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, but the government. Wow. We have both cutters. Oh, Ooh. You think of everything and we'll take you anywhere. The bolt cutters, we need that. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Okay, we definitely need that. We need those bolt cutters. Ooh. We can't just be walking around the office taking things. No, there's nothing in there. What this guy? What are you doing in here?
Mm. Get some muffins? Man, I want one now. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Okay, what is this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's somebody complaining. Ooh, we can get in here. do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Let me out! Okay, I can't get out of there. Interesting, interesting. Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. If it doesn't budge. Okay, uh, stealing toilet paper, what? Interesting. Taking the toilet paper. Now, see, with ray tracing, I think you could see who was in there. Like the mirror. But it's really not a big deal. Okay, so do I gotta talk to this guy, or are we getting out of here? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Sometimes it sounds like she has an accent, and then sometimes it doesn't. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. Okay. I wonder is there something. I'm going to take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See, there's finished. something over here. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. Hmm. Just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family. I'm just wondering, is there anything over here? I'm not done here yet. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, what car is he at? Oh, it must be that car. Okay. on this float for a month straight if it rains i am gonna lose it it'll ruin all the paper mache okay that shit is delicate i think we're all right i think we're all right did you check out the town anderson just getting my bearings ready to go waiting on you the car can be used to travel between locations okay uh, rinse and repeat clock out get a beer Wow. Cutscene. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Wow. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. Same name, similar 
job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Mm -hmm. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Right. You guys hold now. The heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Okay. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. And there's people the around. The pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. Okay. To see the clues. To solve the case. Why did he get back up there? I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. Oh, here we go. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey. Hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted areas. I don't do a damn thing. Huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. No way. How's it going? Don't worry about that. How did you hear about the murder, Elmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna da vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Okay. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Listen. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiira. Klaus, my mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Why is he checking out my clothes? Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. 
They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. See? Animals biting wires. They love it. That's why it's no animals for me. Ooh, let me go in here, actually. What'd you find there, Steven? Clear signs of tampering. Okay. That the raccoons can't get it anymore, huh? Interesting. I already got that. Okay. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Yeah. Uh, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. This is, this is pretty nasty. Drowning. I never minded rain. You can use, uh... You can no use to activate... But what? the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Yeah, that's mm. the, of the, uh... Good eye. That's that little thing I had. After we find Nightingale, what then? That little charm. I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. She's practicing her strafing. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. Okay. Learn what this ritual is. Let's do that. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. I have a radio? Yeah, I might restart this game. I don't know if it's being weird or what. Wait, where are the footsteps go? Oh, here they are. Oh, oh. Can I heal? Where's the heal button? Okay, let me see if this is good uh, sense. Let me see. Aiming sense. Aim. Let's go bring that down. Okay, that might be good. Okay, we gotta follow his footsteps. What? The tracks lead into the water. 
Where'd you go from here? That's why his body was all wet. I can feel something. What the freak was that? Nightingale isn't far. They love the jump scares, man. Give me those bullets. Wait, it didn't pause the game, so I need to be in a safe spot before I do that, probably. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This I might be getting killed right now. The threshold, oh. like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is Ladle. Okay. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. His voice cracks me Nightingale up. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Okay. The Witchfinder Station. Can I climb over this? Oh, that's how I, that's how I can get out. Okay. It must be over here somewhere. This looks like a path. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. Um. Woman returned to avenge her. Blah blah blah. With the heart was to summon. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake. To ex exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Okay. Yeah. Look at the heart. So did they put the heart in there? Is it on the back of this thing? Okay, they didn't put the heart down there. Oh. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. You can toggle a uh, flashlight boost. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. I got some. burn the dark stuff away. It was covering another pit. The fuse was in place. Oh, man. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. His voice the cracks me up. Out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Locate the witch's hut. Okay. Okay, I can't get in there, apparently. Okay, how do I charge up the... Oh, there we go. So we got batteries now. Okay, so what's our goal here? 
track nine and uh, locate the witch's hunt. I wonder, did I do something wrong here? Hmm. I don't think there was any place else we could go on this section, right? No, it doesn't look like, uh, can I climb this? No, there's no way. Right. Okay. So we're going back the other way. We're going back the way we came. Watch, it's going to be some kind of jump scare. So see, why is it getting all, why is it getting all dark? Oh, the witch's hut. We got to go here. Can I? I can't mark anything. Okay. This is the witch's hut. Oh. Anderson. Oh, we were here. I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm going to check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Okay, so there's some candles. box is missing a fuse of course it is i need to find one to turn on the lights how am i gonna find a fuse okay we're gonna find a fuse somewhere maybe it's inside the place or maybe behind oh. wait you are a spirit may still haunt this place okay well what's over here Oh, okay, so there's a light over there. There's got to be a fuse in that thing. That's that over here? Oh, yeah. It's got to be a fuse box over here somewhere. Oh, this is a creepy, man. Creep area. Okay. Hunters after that approach, here's blah, 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 blah. Heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on the blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's practically a general store. Large amount of what? I don't know what that said. Hmm. Hey, there's a fuse box right here. Can I open it? Why can't I open it? There's a literal fuse box right there. There's a fuse box right here. Okay. What? Okay, this place is trolling me. Okay. 
Okay, do I get health back right here? Oh, there we go. Reload. Hmm. That fuse has to be over there. It has to be. It has to be in that general store. Let me see. Where are we at? Fuse box. Yeah, it's got to be in this. It's got to be. I think I just didn't. And this is like going to be a safe spot because we're going to have to run. We're probably going to have to run. Maybe it's not in here. was in place she found it among the junk in the forest saga stepped inside the witch's hut something rushed through her oh a presence familiar she couldn't quite place it something long forgotten she tried to hold on to it the junk in the forest it was already gone inside a bright light saga felt safe like nothing could hurt her here there were objects that stood out to saga as if the light had manifested them Pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall. Okay. And in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Okay, so he's telling us where to get this stuff from. Locate a fuse in the immediate area. In the immediate area of the um look at that why can't i go in there the immediate area of the witches thing They said it was in the junk. Because if that's right, then it was in the... In the witch's area? Man. It must be in the witch's area, I would think. If it's not here. She said in the junk in the forest, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's... I guess we're going to go back to that witch's hut. Or maybe it's somewhere over here. Okay, so this light is not on. What is this place? A creepy twit sculpture? Okay, this is creepy. Oh my gosh.
Okay, blah de blah de blah. I said, like, it's not forms design, it has a purpose. Waterline engineered structure, strange blah blahs, strange machines. Okay. There's gotta be a fuse in this place, right? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Okay, that was weird. Okay. A locked box. Oh my gosh. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Wonder what's inside. Wash your hands. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Okay. Wash your hands. Take a, a chicken out of the fridge and then take a nap. Okay, so. Go to the sink. Is this thing trolling me? And then go to the fridge. And then take a nap. There's not a bed in there. Wait. What the heck? What does that mean? I'm trying to see, is there anything? Hmm. Then take a nap. Is there something on here? Okay, this thing's trolling me hard. The fridge thing. I mean, is it something with the symbols? Because. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right, so wash your hands, take a chicken out of the fridge, and then take a nap. Okay, so it is triangle, triangle, uh, that one, triangle upside down in each other, and then take a nap. There's one in here somewhere. Oh, and then left, right. Okay, so triangle side by side, up and down, and then left and right. Triangle, triangle. That one, and then side by side, left, right. Is that not right? Triangle, triangle. Up and down. How do I click OK? That must not be right.
That was it. That had to be it. Can I open it? Okay, something must be wrong. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's that one. Uh cross and cross like diagonal okay that must not be it either I mean am I not seeing that right Or maybe there's a different one. You would think it'd be that. Because they said wash your hands and then take the chicken out. And then take a nap. Oh, wash your hands in there? They said go in the kitchen, I thought. Okay, it might be that one. Yeah, it might be that one. Let's let's try that. Uh let's try this one. Triangle triangle diagonal. Diagonal the other way, I think. There we go. Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Okay. Cult stashes. All right. Okay, so we still didn't find the fuse that we were definitely looking for. Okay, so let's see. We still need to find a fuse, which... Oh, this is the murder scene. Is there a fuse in there? Probably not. Okay, this is one of the more difficult uh, areas here. It's got to be back at that uh, witch's house or something. The hunt. This. The hut. So we got to go to the right here. It must be in that immediate uh, area. What is this? Oh, increases maximum health. Okay, can we use it? No. Locate a fuse in the immediate area. There should have been one in there. 100%. Oh, 
Wait. Um, let me see. My skin is kind of shakes my uh, faded fast. Hmm. Okay, we got some more fragments, so that's good. Uh, what is this thing? It's where you play Apex at, I guess. We gotta go up here. Oh, can we get down here? So let's go up here. Yeah, we gotta go down this way, I think. Picnic area? Okay, I'm going the wrong way here. I mean, imagine just being out in this, like this, in the rain. I'm trying to find a fuse. You know, it's probably in the witch's hut. How am I getting all turned around like this? I think we're on the right track now. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't in there. Oh, that was weird. I think the entire lighting changed. I'm trying to remember where it is? So it's it must not be in the immediate area then, right? Nope. I hear creepy music, so something must be going on. It might be over here. Let me take that other fork. Yeah, the witch's hut. Let me go over here. If I can make it over here. This fuse is busted. Oh. Yeah, we're on the right track now. Okay, so that one's busted, so there must be another one up here somewhere. Should really stop littering though. Wow. Oh, I was right there. Wow. Okay. We got it. Oh man, it's getting all creepy. You can save your progress at the break room. Nice. Let's do a manual save. All right. Another page.
page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. So we gotta do that. Interpret the page's meaning. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I will be right back, though. Oh, there's like, there's like food here. That coffee's hot with some crumpets or whatever that is right there. All right, be right back, guys. All right, we're back. What do I feel like something's going to pop out at me right here?
Witch's Ladle. Towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Okay. Mm, so, we gotta... We gotta go back to that sign. Where the heck was that thing at? Oh, right here. So, can we go this way, maybe? Yeah, this is where it is because of the, you know what? We're going to have to run. Watch. As soon as we push that heart through there. Is we going to do something here? Hmm. We're back here again. Yo, what the heck was that? Okay. Uh, let's see. Interpret the page's meaning. Do we do that on the board? Maybe it's on the case board. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So this goes somewhere. The supplies. Uh, let's see. Who's involved? There we go. Uh, let's see. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. It's not old. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? That's right. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. You don't want to get spoilers? Nah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. But thank you for the welcome back as well. Okay. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. 
Better keep an eye out for more. I kind of like this, like, this board thing. Hmm. Okay, um, perform the ritual to open the overlap. Okay. Heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Wow. They played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Oh. Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. Easy. Let's go. Okay. So we gotta go. Now we go to the general store. I need to check the general store for the heart. Okay. Now, clearly, they're just not, not going to let me just go to it, right? It's going to be some kind of jump scare. See? What is that? It's in the fridge, huh? Christ. What the heck, man? Hey. What the heck was that? Use a trauma pad you know, to heal. Is this a trauma pad? Okay, that was a lot to do that. Jeez. on the heart is clearer now legible okay i don't know if this is a good idea to go to the case board but we're gonna do it sounds literary but what does it mean Okay. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense.
found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Okay. I don't know what that is. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's probably a battery. Now, where did that body go? Okay, his body disappeared. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. Okay, so I gotta go here. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm on route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. She's excited by this? Oh, man. So that heart thing is over here. I had to go through the water to get it. Maybe that's where I gotta shoot him at. Well, now there's less monsters. Jeez. Is that actually going to do something? Oh no. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. Good luck, half fun. That doesn't sound Show right. The Here we go. It's going to be something crazy that happens, probably. Oh no. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey. Oh jeez. Casey, do you read me? Yeah. He's not in the same world I'm in now. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? Okay, clearly you're in the bizarro Logan's world. Bad. Logan's back in Virginia. That's right. You're imagining things. You're imagining. 100%. Didn't it just come out of there? Okay, I'm very lost now. Okay, I just came out of here.
So we gotta go towards the the flowers. Okay, maybe not. Okay, this is a creepy area. Okay, maybe. This just goes to a dead end. We got this symbol here, maybe. Okay. It's the dead tree. I must be going around the wrong way here. Okay, I just came out of this tree area. Okay. Would you please help me? What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. A nightmare. It is a nightmare. Okay, I got a manuscript page. Need to find Nightingale. Okay, that's creepy. Yep. It's creepy. Okay, okay. More jump scares. we're in his world that's a problem because he has all the control who is that down wake like they're coming in over a bad signal Ooh. Nightingale's badge. Hmm. 
Thanks for all the supplies there, brother. I needed that. That was him. He was tough though. Oh, here we go. Oh, something's happening. I can heal, right? I can heal somehow. Oh, I... I tried to heal. I gotta run. I'm dead. Dang it, I couldn't heal. There's got to be a better heal button. Alright, let me uh, find out this heal button. If there is one. Flashlight reload, inventory, control. Quick slot. Uh, let me see what those are actually. Ooh. Yeah, what can I put in the quick slot? Here we go. Okay. Yes, definitely. I'm out. To run, Saga. Where am I running to? What? Have any bullets left? I don't know what those pills were either.
Oh man, I only got eight bullets left. Okay, they must know he's chasing me. I hear him. Oh, ain't no way. At a dead end. Where the heck is he at? What? Ain't no way. Gotti. Wow. That was intense, man. Alan Wake. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Is that him? Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name... It's Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? G G's. Alright. That's definitely a good spot to end it. Man, first two chapters. Okay. So. Where did you go? All of a sudden, we'll, the we'll go through this first. And then that flooding just disappeared. You crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? 
No, it can't be. I got out. Okay, can we... I don't think we can save, but I, I think it automatically saved right there. You know what it did that? I, saw, I think I saw it say game saving. All right, so that's going to be it for today's stream. I do appreciate it.